Hello, my beautiful souls. Welcome into yet again another daily read. This time we're going to talk about Friday or thereabout. Uh, we do, as you can see, have some interesting lighting here. It's kind of blinding me on this side, but uh, let's jump into the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck and see what we get. Surrender is what we're starting with. It feels like this is a Friday where Spirit's saying, surrender to the path that you are walking. Allow for yourself to feel peace within in regards to what's changing uh, and maybe even for some select few drawn to the reading what has changed recently where you may find yourself uh, lingering uh, thought-wise uh, reminiscing uh, in regards to that change you know um, for somebody it's specifically uh, the loss of a connection or it could be the loss of a job or a living situation for a lot drawn to the reading as well I feel there's a big switch up on the horizon for you that they're saying take a deep breath this is in your favor okay it's going to be uh, a good switch up for you and don't be surprised when that creates a lot of good luck and serendipity uh, uh, peace and harmony and success otherwise within your world um, what else do we have moving on to change I mean look at that the cards coming through to just reiterate and support what we we're speaking upon <clears throat> does feel like you're going to be thinking about how much you have individually changed recently um, over a span of time naturally right uh, depending for you individually varying from case to case as to how far back uh, that change uh, dates for you but it does feel like this is a time where they're saying you need to again surrender to change you need to allow for things to shift in your favor because we've been saying this time and time again in these daily reads, things can't stay the same, okay? Um, even though the familiar can be the more in the moment comforting kind of uh, expected choice, but they're saying to embrace the new, to uh, create the new even within your world is going to be the most beneficial for you down the line. Maybe even your loved ones um, or somebody in particular. Fruition. This day does uh, show you the fruits of your labor, um, your hard work paying off. I wouldn't be surprised if there is a focus to an extent uh, at certain points throughout this day on you being a manifester. You're somebody who's quite powerful in that sense where what you focus on, what you believe, what you truly want uh, to see come to be or continue in a, a different direction or grow more so, um, you can make that happen and you've done it before but it's this feeling of you forgetting at times when you're in the moment of a little bit of frustration or negativity or just something uh, focusing on the the details or aspects of a situation that isn't ideal right um, and I feel like there's going to be little bits of chitter chatter taking place okay this could be naturally within your physical reality whether you're partaking in it or not um, I'm interestingly enough getting it from this little bird, uh, you know, very much um, giving me the message of like uh, the chirping in your ear. So I wouldn't be surprised if a lot have spirits communicating to you in that way, you know, through your thoughts. Um, but I'm hearing we're by your side. We're by your side. It is often that I do have spirits uh, having conversations within my individual mind. It does take um, a solid amount of time you know, uh, along someone's path to get used to that. But um, even in through my dreams, it's like, just do that elsewhere, right? Not a fan of it. Anyways, but the release card as well as darkness, there's a need to um, prepare to release something dark in energy or just something that feels uh, mysterious, but not in a good way. Does that make sense? It could be a connection or a a living situation, maybe a job where there's gossip, toxicity otherwise, uh, secrets, untrustworthy energy. I'm sure you watched the last daily read for a lot drawn to the reading where I did mention uh, the update of me now having to uh, so suddenly move at the end of this month from the place that I just moved into uh, a week or so before the end of uh, September. And so um, it, it's a positive change, trust me. The two guys that I'm going to be living with, my new roommates, are so peaceful and so kind in nature. And I was comparing when, uh, and so that's what's going to, excuse me, that's going to be the situation, uh, this situation specifically, that has a lot of moodiness and he's not trustworthy, my landlord slash roommate, and 
whatnot, even with certain positive aspects and whatnot about this place. Anyways, even speaking about it makes me a little bit on edge and nervous um, and stumble. But uh, going back to what I'm moving towards, uh, they're just so kind and nice. And I was thinking back to when I signed the lease for this place and I almost uh, I struggled to write my own name on the lease to even sign it. And I should have taken that as a red flag, right? I felt his moodiness uh, in regards to uh, me having to reschedule the showing uh, when it, the whole process started. And I should have trusted that, right? Um, and I felt this at a distance through his messages and whatnot. But then when I went to go sign the lease with one of the roommates the other day, um, it was just so peaceful. He took me slowly through the lease agreement and I wrote very clearly and perfectly for the most part. Um, and that was wrapped up quite easily, uh, you know, slowly but easily. Um, and so it just, green flag, right? Because um, I am definitely somebody, and you may relate, I need to be uh, living in a peaceful situation. It feels like you would uh, think this place is quite peaceful, but it's he gets very angry at certain points. He gets very moody and uh, frustrated. And I just, again, don't trust him. Anyways, look at this, masculine. Um, anyways, it's very interesting how I end up typically having these uh, older landlords and uh, whatnot that just feel very much in the closet. And maybe that's why they're frustrated. But uh, let's move on and uh, show this prism oracle. Some disruption may be taking a highlight. Again, going back to what needs to be released, my friend, what needs to change and be switched up for you. It may be more so for some, a situation that needs to be adjusted, tweaked, right? Things have to change in regards to that situation because it's not meant to end, at least not yet, right? Or anytime soon. And so again, things can't stay the same, but for a lot, you may be able to relate in regards to something brand new coming in for you and the release of something else to make room for it. Let's pull some tarot. Let's just use this one, the Gilded Tarot. Um, this seems to be the most uh, guided tarot deck for me these days. Um, but what else do we have? Names is what I'm getting. There's some different names are going to be coming through, maybe from spirit, could be in regards to people in your life. Uh, it could be spirits uh, coming through just to introduce themselves to you. Very interesting. I always find it uh, uh, interesting when they do come through and feel just the need to randomly introduce themselves um, or I'll be pushed to look at a specific name on a sign or a storefront or something of the sort and they're, then I'll hear that's my name. Anyways, um, the Fool card coming out. I mean, this naturally is building upon what we've been speaking upon, you know, leaping into the new, embracing the surrendering and uh, the change once again. I do feel as if there's a little bit of a show that you're putting on at certain points, even if it doesn't feel like, or is, uh, or if it's even labeled as that. Um, you know, for me, I know it's going to be when I'm out and about strutting my stuff and uh, running errands and, you know, on this channel. So apply it as you may, or just simply see how that plays out for you. But the devil card, my friend, okay? I really feel the need to hold these two up together. Um, you're really needing to look at this. Very interesting how I did not mean to hold the Three of Swords up uh, facing me behind those two cards. It, there's pain and maybe even suffering and uh, bad energy again behind, beneath the surface in regards to whatever this Devil card, darkness kind of energy is for you. Um, it, they're saying whoever or yeah, whoever this is, because it may be more than one person for you, they're needing to work through their uh, shadow side. They're needing to, um, okay, for somebody, get over themselves, okay? Um, or just maybe uh, fix their energy, right? Uh, to say the very least. The Four of Cups. The day reminds you of the type of energies that you should be choosing to and wanting to associate with. Uh, naturally, therefore, um, highlighting, you know, who and what you should not be associating yourself with. And it may be more so that who and what you should not is highlighting very prominently who and what you should. Does that make sense? Could go either way. But the Nine of Pentacles, they're saying stand on your, uh, 
uh, your two feet uh, with such pride and confidence and know that things are going to change for the better. This day is showing you evidence that things are going to work out more so for you, you know, in the near future. But we need to plan for that. We need to embrace it and surrender to it once again. This day is going to be uh, a preventative, but also a preparation kind of day. All right. So if this was truly helpful, love and light.